Hi everyone, I am going to be talking about, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> how to get um, white label name servers from the uh, Amazon AWS. I, forgive me if I'm just a little speechless because I spent all day yesterday, probably a good portion of the weekend, today's Tuesday, um, trying to figure this out. I, I just went, I just went bananas. <laughs> I just went, I went crazy trying to figure that out. And, um, where to start? Where to start? Well, I, I had, I have a vanity. I've got myself a vanity domain and, um, you know, I was, I was been following some articles on Ars Technica and, and I've been wanting to try and, um, um, you know, get a, a, a virtual server or, uh, up and running to practice with making a, a mail uh, program web server uh, just for the experience and maybe, uh, you know, to use as a vanity uh, place, you know, to, to sort of forge my, my little space on the, on the net or the web when people search for me. And... Uh, so I, I got my domain and, and the article says, you know, separate your domain and the domain name servers so that, you know, if you, if, uh, you know, it comes time to move uh, for whatever reason you want to change uh, um, registrar, you know, they don't have your name servers being held hostage. So, so, you know, it makes the process a lot easier and you don't have all your eggs in one basket sort of thing, which made sense to me. So... Mm -hmm. I uh, <laughs> I, got, I started getting my my domain last year. Uh, no, just January. So this is like August. So I was like, I've been, been you know fooling around with this for a long time, and uh, <clears throat> finally I decided. Well, I better get this this domain registration set up, and, I, and the next step is to start working on on learning how to configure a, a Linux box because, well, for whatever. You know, there's so many, so many reasons why that's probably a good idea these days. Uh, um, I don't know, know if I really need to get into those <laughs> Windows 10. <coughs> um, so I thought, well, I better get started on that. And I decided, well, uh, you know, I heard good things about Route 53, which is the Amazon uh, uh, DNS uh, service. So I signed up for that and I got my, you know, I input. They have like a web thing. Actually, I should, I should do that. So let me start this web uh this screen encoder and i'll i'll shift control shift f12 okay so i'm using microsoft expression encoder screen capture software so all right so it's going to start in a second there so that started <clears throat> so uh let me call up oh that's <laughs> camtasia uh i'm gonna have to obscure some of these things so um yeah my uh my i well, yeah my the, the saga started by going to uh you know signing into the uh uh yeah the root 53 management console so i went there and i saw this and i thought well i mean <laughs> how do i how do i get my uh my uh, my you know, white label servers. And uh, so I, I, I looked it up. So this is the way I have them now. They actually, they actually are there now. I'm just waiting for the, the, my, my registrar to add the glue records. <laughs> so I, I did a search for uh, Amazon white label, uh, label name servers. Uh, servers uh yeah configuring white label name servers on amazon route 53 so this is this is it and it shows you what configuring and this is i think the first document that i ran across and it's like oh okay so oh well how do you you know how do you get that how do you get these 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 name servers how do you get that this this the four servers that they give you that they speak about in this document and this is uh you know configuring white white label name servers well they say create an an Amazon Route 53 reusable delegation set by using the Amazon Route 53 API. API. So it's not if you go to their their web console, it, the, there's no way to get that there. Uh, 
And when you when you first assign or give them the 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 uh, the registration, um, the DNS thing, then uh, you, they they assign you the DNS servers, and then you're stuck. So, uh, so how you know this is where I kind of kind of got set, set, and I said, oh, Amazon Route 53 API. All right, let's post create reusable delegation set. So I click on that. And it's like, oh, XML document. How the hell do I do that? So um, <laughs> I went nuts. I downloaded uh, Windows XML notepad there, this thing. And it's like, okay, how do I work with that? Hmm, okay. This is a pretty Greek uh, insert text attribute comment. And then, well, where do, how do I, how do I send it? Where, how do I post or, you know as i mean i have the document then so you know as it turns out i think a lot of this is talking about um python and and uh, programming environments the um, software development kits all that kind of thing this is which is what an api is um if i go back to here the oz cli create reusable delegation set the oz command line interface now i did not make the connection that this was well, this is the key, right? So I thought, well, I'd have to use this in um, um, a, a Unix virtual box. So I had started getting a vir virtual box up and running, and I had a, I've, I've, I've uh, actually got to the point where <laughs> I've installed a, a, uh, uh, a Unix uh, uh, server in there or unix uh, operating system in, in this virtual uh, manager uh, virtual box and um but i mean i did get nginx the web server up and running but then when it came time to install the um the command line interface uh, i it just it just broke and and I, I it just didn't work right so it was like you know and i'm tearing my hair out there has to be a way for this to work but you'd think here they'd say how how do i get in there how do i start this so i just these are all the commands but but how do i <laughs> who do i where do i get them from and that's the thing that stuck me so for for a long time and so I just I don't know how I managed to find it. I still don't know how I managed to how I managed to find where you can actually install the uh, the command line interface. Um, there's so much that you can you can do with this that it's just absolutely insane absolutely insane so i i mean and i started pretty much from from nowhere um so you know you can see here where the these the, you know it's like how to configure mat migrating the dns from, you know and it's like i just on and on and on and on but the actual getting of the white label uh name service isn't really all that complicated once you finally figure out how to do it and uh believe it or not it's uh it just it's just like this you just go uh i think it's uh, download uh download uh amazon cli uh there command line interface i think getting set up uh, installing there we go finally finally and then here's the here's here it is so sometime yesterday I finally found that link I finally found this and then there's the download link for Windows 64-bit which is what I used and then it shows you how to use it and uh but this is see here i i, I kind of got held up by the python version at first you know because <clears throat> um yeah so 
Uh, what this does is when you use your command, like the command uh, line interface here for command line, uh, Windows command, I don't know, whatever the hell they call it, CMD there, and then you go AWS, because I install it, uh, there, it says da 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 da. See, so, and then to make a command to uh, root 53, you go AWS root 53, uh, 53, and then help. And so now this is part of your Windows uh, DOS kind of environment kind of thing. And then here's your, in, you know, the, oops. Uh, these, here's the, uh, the, 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 the commands that you can use. And one of those, two, the two that you're interested in is create reusable delegation set, which is the first one you'll do. And then the second one is, um, um, uh, what is it? Uh, create, create hosted zone. So that's that's the those are the two things that you that we are particularly interested in, um, because what you have to do in order to properly uh, create the white label name servers is to delete your domain from AWS the root fifty three uh, console or dashboard or hosted zone uh, and then create a new one through the command line interface because otherwise you cannot apply the reusable white label name servers so that's that's the key and in order to properly <laughs> the only uh, properly engage with the uh, command you actually have to set up yourself as a user for Oz because otherwise um, AWS or otherwise you'll get uh, access denied so what you have to do <laughs> first is go to uh, Amazon I am and create a user so I have one user that I created and then you can cre uh, create uh, um, um, access well access keys here I think uh, yeah so um, yeah, if I click on the user, there, him, there, and double click in there. Now he's got security credentials, um, and but you need to do that. But <laughs> so so then, the, if you follow on along on the documentation, it shows you how to uh, configure. Uh, so you just go AWS configure, and then if you follow through in the documentation, you'll be able to, to figure that out. Um, now, uh, when it comes to getting, you know, the credentials aren't enough. You have to give the user permissions. <sighs> so then you find policies. Uh, oops, there's it roles. No, roles, policies, uh, groups, users. Yeah. Click. Uh, yeah. So then here's the the 202 different policies, and I mean I'm scratching my head. Where <laughs> what policy do I use in order to get access? Because is it um, Amazon App Stream Read Only Access? Is it Amazon Administrator Access? Is it Amazon Elastic Map Reduce Access? Is it Amazon Kinesis Kinesis? Uh, for access as an Amazon machine learning real-time prediction on la, 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 la. <sighs> so yeah it's like a guessing game and you can only use 10 at once so I mean there I there had to be a way so I found somehow that uh, bah, 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 um, um, that uh, there's a power user policy so you click on that and then everything magically starts working. So when you finally get your 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 name name servers, there will be an identification number because um, when you create the hosted zone later, then you'll want that I, that ID number for the, that delegation set, and that'll tell the interface that when it when it uh, submits or creates its the hosted zone for that domain, 
that you want to assign that delegation set uh, those, that servers, those name servers to that, that domain. I hope that's clear. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, hopefully I've saved you some time and, and, and energy uh, doing this. Uh, um, so if not, uh, leave me a note in the comments and I'd be happy, more than happy to, to answer or maybe even uh, do a, another second video with that. So, uh, uh, so again, as I say, thanks for, thanks for watching.